welcome back thought I'd do a quick video on how to balance piston and rods I've uh, got some eagle rods they are very nice uh, you can see them here H beam very well made matched beautifully 716 bolts and uh, I've also got my Wiseco piston so what I want to do today is just weigh up the rods the pistons the rings the pins and so forth and make sure they're all balanced properly so first off a few things i want to measure is i want to measure the total uh, weight of the rod you do want to check the big end weight versus the little end as well as the bearing and then the remaining parts the piston the pin and so forth so just starting off here get the rods out measure them i actually like just to write the weight on the on the rod otherwise it's confusing to find out or remember what's what so they're all around uh, 554 grams I got those scales pretty cheap just off of eBay down to 0.1 of a gram so it's great um, Eagle say they're within one gram and they were mine were a touch out so from the lightest to heaviest there was probably about 1.4 grams difference so uh, what I had to do was lighten up a little bit on one of the uh, big ends and also on the little end. So it's not that complicated. It's a bit of a tedious job. So to balance the, them up, what I did is after measuring the big end weight, which is what I'm doing here, uh, this is not 100% accurate because a lot of factors could influence this. So it's a bit crude, my setup. It's just the gudgeon pin in a vise set the scale up so when it weighs it the uh, rod is horizontal and you know a bit of friction difference different lube there's a lot of things that can affect this but anyway these were very consistent and what i had to do is just on one of them is take a little bit off of the little end which i'm doing here just with a fine file i only took about 0.6 of a gram off that end most of the load or almost all of the load goes between that pin and the big ends in that uh, uh, thickest part of the rod the top bit there really doesn't take much weight so just slowly i measured them up again i got them within about 0.2 of a gram uh, which is pretty good after that i actually uh, measured the bearings so you know you need to measure the rotational weight which is the big end, big end of the rod as well as the bearing because that rotates obviously uh, the piston the little end of the rod the rings the pin and the clips is what they call reciprocating weight so it just goes up and down it doesn't actually rotate so you want to yeah, balance the reciprocating weight and balance the rotating weight so here's just weighing up the bearings they're all pretty consistent around 35.9 grams uh, then I weighed out the pistons the pistons from Wiseco heaviest uh, was 343.6 I think and the lightest was about 342.3 so there was about a bit over one one gram from lightest to heaviest uh, so I obviously wanted to take a little bit bit of material out just to make sure that was right uh, so what I did after this is just recorded some of the numbers down that I had so far there's the rod total weight there's the big end weight which were very balanced the bearings and this top recording here for the piston is the weight that came uh, from Wiseco so again they say they're within one gram they are I suppose if you did one plus or minus one gram but from lightest heaviest it's actually uh, 342.3 to 343.6 that's 1.3 grams I've just taken a fraction off of the base of this piston the heaviest one and that that's not a, a grinding wheel it's just a emery 120 so we're talking probably 0.1 of a gram I took off there and then what I did is I used a little fine round file and I just radius that the bottom edge uh, around the skirt there you can see and I probably took off point maybe point 0.1 or point 0.2 of a gram off of each of one of those just to get the weight reduction I needed number one piston was the heaviest um, and it needed the most taken out but that bottom area there doesn't 
take a lot of the load. It's between again the top of the piston and the uh, where the where the gudgeon pin is. So I'm weighing them up again now. Got the weights pretty consistent. That one down to 342.4. Number two, I got the same. Number three was the lightest to start with. I think it's a, a slightly less than that. Uh, 342.3 and the fourth one was actually 342.5 but remembering there were slight variances in the weight of the rings and the pins and other areas so they all need to add up so they're balanced so once I got this far the next stage was to start grouping things together so I grouped the the piston the rings the clips and the gudgeon pin all together and I wanted to figure out what is the total weight so I'm just putting these together now so this one's number one gudgeon pin all the oil rings and the clips and that weighs at 478.2 so that plus the little end of the rod is the reciprocating weight and I did this across the other three pistons and got them they're, they're within about 0.2 of a gram which is very good and the rotational weight, I've, I've obviously balanced that as well, and it's probably within uh, 0.2 of a gram as well. And then you'll see I actually recorded the total weight, so the total weight of everything, and I got that within 0.1 of a gram. So, you know, it's tedious, but you're only going to do this once. Once the engine's in, it's real pain to fix things like this. It's good to have the data, know the numbers and the clearances and the weights and so forth. So I think it was worthwhile. This probably took me two or three hours. Um, but it's all very well balanced. That You know, if the theory is true, it should run very smoothly. Once I got to this point, I actually spent a bit more time just tidying up the final weight. So it turned out the uh, bearings were actually exactly the same way after re-measuring them. I took 0.1 of a gram off that piston number four and here's the finished product. Everything's ready to go and as you'll see the total weights are within 0.1 of a gram and everything else is nearly perfectly balanced. So next stage will be putting the rings on and actually installing these in the engine. Stay tuned.